In this demonstration, we're going to look at how we can install the Active Directory Federation Services server role. So what we've done here is we've come onto our Active Directory Domain Controller, we've come into Server Manager, and at this point we're going to click on Add Roles and Features. Then under Roles and Features, we'll select Next. For the installation type, we'll go with Role Based or Feature Based Installation and select Next. On the Server Selection, we'll ensure that we have the correct server selected and select Next. Then what we'll do is we will select Active Directory Federation Services and select Next. We won't bother with any additional features, so select Next. Read through the summary, select Next. Then we'll select Install. Now this is going to take a little while, so what we'll do at this point is just pause the presentation and return back once the installation is complete. That's we've now added the roles, so we'll just select Close. And the next thing we're going to do here is we're just going to add a DNS record for the Active Directory Federation services. So in order to do that, I'll just come to Tools, just come down to DNS, and then what we'll do at this point here is we're just going to create a new record. So all we're going to do is we're going to come to our datum.com, right click at this point here, create a new host, and then what we'll do here is we'll just create the record. So I'm going to do that by just creating a record called ADFS, that's going to become ADFS.datum.com. 172.16.0.10. So we'll select Add Host. Make sure we create the record, which we have. And then just close down our DNS manager. Next thing we need to do now is we just need to actually configure our Active Directory Federation services. So what we'll do here is we'll come up to our notification. And then we'll configure Federation services on this server. Into the wizard, what we're going to do here is we're going to create the first Federation server in the Federation server form. So we'll select Next. Then on our Connect to Active Directory Domain Services, what we'll do here is we'll just make sure that we are using the current user, and we are. So we'll select Next. Then in the case of the Specify the Service Properties page, what we're going to do here is we're just going to select our certificate. So what we're going to do at this point here, click on our little drop down, go for our adfs.adatum.com, federation service name, adfs.adatum.com, and then in the case of our federation display name, what we're going to do here is just type in the name that we're going to use, which I'm going to specify as a.datum corporation, and we'll select next. On our specify service account, what we're going to do is create a group managed service account and we're going to make that as a datum backslash and then what we're going to do here is make that ADFS and select next. For the database we're just going to create a database using an internal Windows database and select next. We'll just review our options, we're happy with all of this so we'll select next. As we can see, all our prerequisite checks have passed successfully, so we're happy with that. So the next thing to do here is select Configure. And as we can see, it's now been successfully configured, so we'll select our Close button. And we've now installed ADFS. Thank you.